So now we have the waypoint editor right here. We can create new waypoints and that waypoints are connected to each other as you can see. But the real problem right here now is that we can't see the connection between the waypoints and also we can't see our waypoints. So in order to fix this issue, we will use gizmos in Unity and gizmos will help us achieve this visualization task. So for that right here in the editor script, we will create a new C sharp script by the name of waypoint editor. Let's delete the previous waypoints. And then let's open up this waypoint editor in Unity or not in Unity, but in our text editor. And then let's remove that two functions. And also let's remove this mono behavior from here. And then at the top, you will say using Unity editor. Then in here, we will visualize our waypoint. But first of all, at the top, let's initialize the onload attribute. So we will say initialize onload and that is it. After this, we will create a public static function by the name of onDrawScenegizmos because as you know that we will only see the gizmos in our scene window but not inside the game window. And since we will be seeing it in the scene view, so that's why I name it like this. You can name this whatever you want. In here, we will be adding two parameters. The first one will be for the waypoint. So we will say waypoint, waypoint, and then the gizmos type. And let's name this as gizmos type as well. Then at the top right here, let's add a gizmos attribute. So we will say draw gizmo. Then the gizmo type will be dot non selected. Then we will say gizmo type dot selected. And then the gizmo type will be pickable. Right here, we are just telling the Unity to draw a gizmo regardless of whether or not the game object is selected or not and also pickable or not so now in here we will say that if the waypoint is selected then we will add a blue color so we will say gizmo type dot selected okay and make sure that these two are inside double quotes if that is not equals to zero, then what we want to do, we want to highlight that waypoint in a color blue. So we will say gizmos dot color and the color will be color dot blue. After this, we will say that if the waypoint is not selected, then we want the color of our waypoint to be a little bit fade away so we will say gizmos dot color and the color will be equals to color dot blue and we will multiply that by 0 0.5 f because it is in dot value so we need to add the f right here after this we want to draw a sphere or you can say a circle around our waypoint so for drawing a circle we will say gizmos dot draw sphere and we want to draw the sphere around the waypoint dot transform dot position and we want that sphere size to be 0.1 f now if we save this and get back to unity first of all turn on the gizmos right there and after that, as you can see, the waypoint origin is already added. Now, if you click on create waypoint, you can notice the blue color around our waypoint. Now, if you create another one, you can see the other one right here. Now, if you create another one, then there, as you can see, and you can notice when the waypoint is selected, its color is dark blue. And if it is not selected, its color fades away from blue to light blue. 
and that is due to this if else condition and this is the sphere size we can change its size to 0.2f and get back to unity and now as you can see the size of the waypoint has been increased but we want the size of it to be 0.1f that is it and now all of the other thing works perfectly fine now the next thing which we want to do is to show the connection between these waypoints we want to show the next waypoint line and the previous waypoint line but that is for the next video